The first type of logic that we're going to talk about, or planning tools for logic, is pseudocode. Pseudocode is my personal favorite. And it really depends. What I found is that people who are right-brained tend to prefer flowcharting. People who are left-brained tend to prefer pseudocode, because flowcharting is very visual and very engaging for the right side of the brain. For people who are left-brained and logical, just writing an outline is a simple way to plan code. And it doesn't really matter to me in the long run which way you do it. Now, in this class, we're going to be doing a lot of flow charting just because of the tool we're using to test our logic. But this is an example because your first assignment this week is going to be to use visual lo um, logic to create a Mad Lib game. And hopefully most of you have played Mad Libs when you were a kid. It was a real popular game when riding in the car when I was a kid. And when you play Mad Libs, you take something that you take words out and you ask the person who is sitting across from you who can't see the paper, you ask them to give you an answer. So you'd say, give me a name, give me an animal, give me a noun, give me a color, give me a noun. Now we're going to program this and this works out really well for programming. So our pseudocode, you usually have a start and when you're done, you typically have an end. And so the pseudocode is not full sentences. You generally don't use punctuation. And you're typically using just abbreviated phrases. You don't have to say how you're going to get something, because that can be language dependent. So our start would be get name, get animal, get noun, get color, get noun. And our last item would just be to display the poem filling those items in. You'll notice that in green I have here one and two because the main difference between doing this by hand and doing this for programming is that these will actually be something called a variable. And I'm going to talk about that more as we go forward, but basically a variable is a named place in memory where you can store something. So if you're going to use it, it has to have a unique name. So we couldn't use noun twice because it would refer to the same thing. So you need noun one and noun two to indicate that they are two separate fields. And that would be the pseudocode for doing Mad Libs for Mary Had a Little Lamb.